here. It's Nina with Walla Stamping. Thank you for joining me today. This is the card that I would like to share with you. Is it not so cute? I just love it. That little mama hen and her little baby chick coming out of its egg and I created this because I'm in the middle of making so many Valentine projects that I wanted to do something different. So I've had this little stamp set for a while and contemplating what I could do with it. And then I came up with this idea because I've been wanting to do some watercoloring. So let me show you what all you're going to need to create this card. First of all, you're going to need some old olive and your card base starts out at 11 by five and a half, or I'm sorry, 11 by four and a fourth, and then you score that at five and a half, and it leaves you with a card that's five and a half by four and a fourth. Stamping Up does have pre-made envelopes for this size card. Then you're going to need a piece for cutting out your scallop circle, and this one is cut to four by four inches. And then a small piece to go behind your sentiment, and this is cut to um, one, let's see, two and a half by one and a fourth. Then you'll need a piece of watercolor paper, and that's what we're going to do here is do our watercoloring and cut that out. And some Whisper White, you'll need a piece that is five and a fourth by four, four and a half by three and a half, and two and a fourth by one. Then your designer series paper. This is the succulent garden paper and it is five by three and three fourths. Now I know that I have showed you all these in the past in other videos, but if you are new to my channel and you haven't heard me talk about this, I just wanted to introduce you to these two catalogs. First of all, we have the celebration. It starts on January the 4th and it runs through March 31st. And inside of this catalog, you're going to see all kinds of stamps, ribbons, a designer series paper that are free. And I think there's about 12 items in here, I believe I heard someone say. I haven't counted them myself, but there's a lot. See, there's some ribbon and there's the adult coloring sheets. So um, those are really cute too. The way that you get the free items in here is for every $50 that you spend with Stamping Up, you'll get to choose one of the items out of this catalog for free. So if you spend $50, you choose one item. If you spend $100, you choose two items and so on and so on. So that's the celebration. And then next I have the occasions catalog. It also started on January the 4th, but it runs through May the 31st. And some people refer to this as our spring catalog because a lot of the um, stamp sets and the papers and everything in here do lend itself towards spring because there's a lot of florals and there's Easter, there's birthday, lots of different things. So let me show you this. This is the page um, that is where the Succulent Garden Designer Series paper is, and I think that it is absolutely beautiful. I just love all the ideas that Stamping Up has come up with to do with this stamp set and die set and the papers. So I will probably be creating a project with this sometime in the next week or so, so we'll talk about this more later. Now, if you don't have these catalogs and you would like me to send some to you, if you'll just reach out to me through my blog wallastamping.com. Um, I will certainly send them out to you in the mail, but also you can look at them on my website. I have a link where you can look at them digitally, a digital PDF. Um, so that is that. And also I wanted to remind you, if you haven't signed up for my newsletter yet, please do. They come out once a month and in the newsletter there will be information about promotions, online classes, sales, clearance racks with Stamping Up. Just uh, quite a bit of information for you and they do come out once a month. Um, so anyways, let's get started creating this card. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my chick and the little hen and get those watercolored. So I'm going to grab my watercolor paper out of here, wherever it went, and let me show you the inks that I'm going to be using to um, stamp the chick and the egg, I'm going to be using the black archival ink. And then to do my water coloring, I'm using Old Olive, Tangerine Tango, Crushed Curry, 
and Tempting Turquoise. And to do that with, I'm going to be using the Aqua Painter, okay? Now, to cut out the scalloped circle, I'm going to be using my old favorite, the Layering Circles Framelits, and I'm going to be using the largest scallop to cut that out with. And then to cut out my image, the Stitched Shapes Framelits, they are back in stock now, so if this is an item that you were interested in and were not able to get it before because they sold out because they were so popular, they do have them back in stock now and they are available. So I'm going to be using the largest circle to cut out the image. And then of course, the Hey Chick stamp set. They are so cute. I used this little hen and this little egg, and I'm using You're a Good Egg for my sentiment. And then the little blingies there. This is the metallic enamel shapes, and I'm going to put those there. And then you'll just need some snail and some um, mini, um, what are they called? Dimensionals. Some dimensionals. All right, so let's get her stamped, and then we will start coloring. So this is my basic black archival ink. Get that mama hen all inked up. And then I'm just going to stamp that somewhat in the center of this piece of paper. Then get her little chickadee that's trying to hatch out of its egg. And stamp that right there. Okay. So now I'm going to start doing my watercoloring, and I'm going to start with my old olive and create the grass. Now I do just have a piece of paper here, as you can see, and when I'm done using a color, then I just wipe it off on that piece of paper. Okay, so... Oh, and this is a tip for you. If you've never done watercoloring with stamping up ink before, um, what you do is you take your ink pad and you squeeze it in the middle like this, and then when you pop it open, it will have placed some ink in the lid of your container. So then I'm just going to dip into this with my aqua painter and come in here and lay down some grass. And I'm just working around the little chick's feet because I'm going to be coloring those in also. And so I'm starting out really light and I'm not worrying about at this point how far out to the right and the left that I'm going because some of it is going to get cut off anyway. So I'm just, um, I'm just painting. And I don't mind that some of that's going to get cut off. That's what I want it to do anyway. Then I'll just blend, 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 and get it faded out a little more down this way. Then I want to come in and create some shadows underneath this mama hen and her baby. So I'm going to dip it, my uh, brush back into that ink. Come underneath this mama hen and lay down some shadows. I want to do some shadow under the baby also. If you feel like you have too much ink on your brush, then just wipe it off on your piece of paper. Okay, so I'm done with that. Now I'm going to start with my lightest color and then work to my darkest. Let me give that a little squeeze, get some more ink in there. I'm going to clean off my brush and get that green off of there. Now go in here with this crushed curry and I'm going to color in the middle of her body with the crushed curry. Then I'm going to do her head in crushed curry too. And this little chickadee here, I'm going to put just a little bit, sort of a C shape around the back and around the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna leave that open because I will be doing some blending, so I will come back to it. So next I'm going to open my Tangerine Tango. And she's going to get her belly done in Tangerine Tango. And I start out with it rather light so that I can do blending. But 
then I want the bottom of her belly to be darker so I just pick up more ink and just come back in here and lay it down at the bottom. And if I feel like I have too much water on there, then I just wipe some of it off because I do want this color to be even darker. So I'll just wipe off some of the excess water from my brush, come in here and darken it up. Okay, clean that off. And then the next color is going to be my Tempting Turquoise. a little bit of the excess off and then I want to blend 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 so this is going to make some green in between where the blue and the yellow are blending together which I like okay so mama hen is done grass is done baby's done the only thing I need to do now is I want to use some of this tempting turquoise let me clean my brush off again and I'm just going straight into my pad because I want this color to be really dark. And I want to color in her comb. And I don't know what that little thing is called that hangs down. And her beak. Okay, so that is all colored. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit this aside for a moment and do some other things and then come back to it. Give that an opportunity to get dry. While I've got my ink out, let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment. And to do that with, I'm using the Black Archival and I'm using the sentiment that says, You're a good egg. So I'm going to ink that up and just stamp that right down in the middle of this little piece of Whisper White. Now I'm going to adhere that to my green and I'm just going to be using Snail to do that with. And I'm going to go ahead and put my dimensionals on the back of this because I am going to be popping that up off the card with the dimensionals. So that's done. We'll set that aside. Let's go ahead and start attaching all of our papers to our card. So first of all, we're going to use this Whisper White and attach it to the card base. Then we will take our oh so or the succulent garden designer series paper. This side is really my favorite, but I felt like the orange or the tangerine tango side would go better with my chicken. Let me get this straightened out here. Okay, come on. And we're going to center that within the white. Okay. All right, so we've got that done and that done, and we might as well go ahead and put our sentiment in place. Stick that right there. And then while we're at it, let's go ahead and put our enamel, a metal enamel um, embellishments on there. And I just use a pair of tweezers to do this with. Makes it easier for me. I can grab a hold of them nicely on the pad that they come on and pull them off and then set them where I want them. Because inevitably if I try to hold them with my fingers as small as they are, I'm going to drop them. So I just take the stress out of my life and use my tweezers. Okay, so this piece actually goes on the inside of the card. Let's put that in there. Actually, I'm going to fold this over so I can make sure that I'm getting this centered up better. Okay. Then, let's cut out our scallop circle. out, I'm going to go ahead and cut out my mama hen and her baby. 
and I'm going to use the largest of the round stitch shapes framelits and get that lined up. Now it looks like her tail is going to be cut off, but I promise you it'll still be there. So just get that centered up and then run that through the big shot. Isn't she so cute? And see when you use those stitched edge shapes or that's what are they called stitched shapes framelits it makes that little stitched edge and it's so cute i love it so let's stick these together and again i'm just going to use my snail all right get that centered up so that all your little scallops are showing all the way around and we're going to stick this down with um, dimensionals, so I'm going to go ahead and put those on now. Okay. Bring my card back in. Remove the backing from those dimensionals. And put her down on the card. There we go. Is that not so cute? So here's a couple of different ones. This one I've done with just the old olive and whisper white and more old olive. And then this one I wanted to brighten up a little bit more. I like them both. Um, and depending on your color preference, you may like one more over the other. So this is a couple of varieties. And also I wanna tell you guys, I have a kit here with all the paper cut and the enamel or the metal enamel embellishments. And this kit will go out free to someone who I draw their name. But the way that you get this, you have to go over to my blog, find the post on the Hey Chick card, and make a comment underneath. And then in a week or two, I will draw a name at random and send this kit out to the winner of that. So I have something that I'm going to be introducing to you on Friday. I'm in preparation mode right now. It's called Walla Stamping Craft Box. It's a box full of goodies that'll come out to your home once a month. And in it is everything that you need to create some cards and then every once in a while I'll throw a 3D project in there. So be sure to tune back into my YouTube channel on Friday as well as my blog to get more information on how to get signed up for that. So you guys have a great day and I will talk to you soon.